Welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to implement filtering, sorting, and pagination with Entity Framework Core in a .NET application. So let's create a new as.NET Core Entity application. Define the name and select the latest .NET version. The first step is to install Entity Framework Core in memory to simulate the connection with a database. So go to Manage NuGet Packages and browse in memory. Install the package. And then let's add a class to implement the entities that we will use in the demo. Let's add some entities to create data. The first one will be an order which contains a primary key, a user ID which is a foreign key. Let's add a navigation property to the user entity, add a collection of items at the user class by defining the ID and adding the name property and the item class. So this is a one to many relationship. An order has one or many items. So define the item class, which will contain the primary key. It will contain a reference to the product with this product ID foreign key and a navigation property to get all details about the product in the item, but also to add the quantity and finally the foreign key to the order at the entity for the product by defining the primary key, the price, and the name. The next step is to add the context for the database. So create a new class called shop db context. Apply the default configuration from entity framework call as the db context options to the base constructor and add the required db sets for each entity at all the DB sets. We will populate the database with initial data. So to do that, we will overwrite the model creating method and pass sample data. So I will copy these values. I will add 10 products when user, two orders and three items. All entities are associated using the foreign keys. Now let's implement the general repository in order to add the filtering, sorting, pagination, and include properties functionalities. So create a new generic repo. This will be generic. So add the T type and add a constraint that T is a reference type. Create a constructor and inject the context. We'll access the DB set of type T to create data from the entity of type T. So this property will be DB contest that set by passing the T type declare the field and implement the method. So it will return a enumerable of type T. Let's call the method get to implement all the functionalities. The first parameter in the get method is to filter the data. So it will be of type expression because we will use the word class from link. It will take a function of type T and return a Boolean value to filter the data. This will be our filter. This is a Lambda function that will filter the results from the entity of type T based on the Boolean value. The next parameter is to order the data. So it will be a function that takes a queryable of type T and will return an I order queryable of type T. Let's define default values. This is also a Lambda function that will order the results. And the next parameter is to include the navigation properties. This will be an string and is a comma delimited list of navigation properties that we will include in the query results. And finally, define the page size and page number properties if we want to apply pagination. So let's add these properties as optional. Now implement the functionality. So create a new iQueryable of type T which will be our query and call DB set that has no tracking. We will disable tracking because we will not perform any changes to the database. So let's validate if filter is not null. We will filter the data based on the parameter. So query will be query that were by passing the filter. Similarly, order by parameter. If the order by is specified, we will order the results. Now add a for each statement to include the properties defined in the include properties parameter. Let's split this string. 
because it's a comma delimited list of navigation properties. So basically, we'll create a new char array by delimiting by a comma and then remove the empty entries from the array. We will include the navigation properties. And finally, let's validate if page number and page size are specified. We will paginate the results. So add a simple ternary operator. Check if page number is not new and page size is specified. We will apply pagination by using the skip and take methods. This is a simple mathematical function. Let's get the value from the page number and page size and then take number of elements defined in the page size. Otherwise, it will return the query results. It's time to test this implementation. So go to the program.cs file and register the DB contents. Call add DB contents by passing the class and then define the options to use in memory database and define any name for the database. We will build a minimal API with two simple HTTP GET methods to list the products by applying filtering, pagination, and sorting. And we will return the orders with all the detailed information using the include properties parameter from the get method by including all the navigation properties we have. So create a new endpoint to list, to filter the products. So inject the contents via method injection at a line to ensure that the database is created and to seed the data that we added in the contents class. So call db.database.ensure created and then create a new instance of the generic repository, in this case of type product, pass the db to the constructor and call the get method. Let's define a simple query. So add a filter. We will filter the products where the price is less than 50, then order by the price in an ascending mode. So call the order by function and then based on the price field. And finally, specify the page number and the page size. We will list the first results from the product list and add a second get method to list the orders with all the detailed information. Remove this line. We'll create a new instance of a generic repo. But in this case, will be of the order type. Remove all the functionalities as we define the products endpoint and call the include properties field. We'll include the information about the user, all the information about the items and the nested navigation property, which is the product to get also the detailed information about the products. Now it's time to test the application from the project. Navigate to the products endpoint. We have the first five results, which is paginated based on the page size and page number, but also we filled the results with the price less than 50 and its order in an ascending mode, as you can see. Now go to the orders route to see the information about the orders. We have the user information, the items information, and the product information as well. So we have a detailed information by adding the navigation properties into the query. So in this demo, we learned how to implement filtering, sorting, and pagination with Entity Framework Core in a .NET application.